Hello and welcome to our UNPL D League draft analysis uh, with the Valiant Victinius. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to uh, be in the UNPL D League. Um, it should be an interesting season. Um, I've never been in this league before, but uh, obviously it should uh, be an interesting nonetheless. So going into this. Uh, draft. We were third pick overall in the Poppy division, and I really wanted to use either Chen Pao or Dragonite, but um, that's a big ask, obviously, even for third round pick. So we ended up with Iron Bundle. Um, it was either this uh, or Ladio Ladios. Um, even though there were still Deoxys Speed and Palafin available in the twenty pointers. <laughs> I decided to choose Iron Bundle um, because I'm using Jaxa Speed and Palafin in a different league. Uh, yeah, so Iron Bundle, obviously, um, the Freeze Dry Hydro Bomb combination has no resist, so that's good. It's extremely fast. Um, base 135 speed, 136, 135, one of those. Uh, great special attack, obviously, um, with booster energy. That's probably one of the big selling points of this. Um, you can boost your speed super easily, outspeed a ton of things. You can also boost your special attack as well if, uh, if you want. Um, yeah. Anyways, you can run like Boots, Pivot, you can run Specs, Scarf as well. Like, It's a decently versatile what item you can run on it, but the moves are pretty pretty standard. Hydro Pump. Um, if we hit our Hydro Pumps, it should be a relatively good season. That's what I'm going to say. Um, yeah. So for Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Freeze Dry, Taunt, Encore, Sub, Flip Turn, U-Turn, all that stuff. For our second pick, we chose Blaziken. Um, this was kind of a no-brainer because it was Speed Boost Blaziken. And I've never actually used Speed Boost Blaziken in a league before. So this will be very interesting to use. Um... I always thought of speed with Blaziken being unfun and broken, but uh, this was actually decently lower point tier wise than I've, I've, I've seen in some other leagues. So, yeah, this will be interesting to use. Obviously, speed boost, crazy ability um, with Swords Dance and like fire fighting combos, great offensive combination. Gets coverage like, uh, like acrobatics, knockoff, stuff like that. Um, so, this should be very. Hopefully, we get a sweep. With Blaziken, that'd be very cool. Um, hopefully, this works something like uh, Quackable. We can just go ahead and accidentally sweep. Hey. So, anyways, going on to our next pick, we have Corviknight. Um, this was also kind of a no-brainer, being a uh, great defensive Pokemon in general. Obviously, being very physically defensive, um, with the steel flying type, being also a great defensive typing. Um, uh, also having defog to get rid of uh, hazards, roost for longevity, and uh, U-turn for momentum, stuff like that. Pivoting into either Blaziken or Iron Bundle, um, I, and also just I, I wanted a very good just defensive Pokemon. Period, and Corviknight is one of the staples of that. So. That's what we picked up in the third round. In the fourth round, I wanted a decent dark type and a good ground type um, for my electric wing test. That is pretty good. That's pretty prevalent in my team right now, as of now. So I picked up Crocodile. Uh, Crocodile gives us a stealth rocker. Um, it gives us a knock, uh, something with knockoff, stab knockoff. Um, it gives us obviously a ground type, uh, good earthquake user, and just a, a good like. Overall, Pokemon General, we get Intimidate for a uh, final lower tax, being a more bulky Pokemon. Also get some Moxie if I want to try to uh, sweep through some teams, um, stuff like that. So, also I've also never used um, Crocodile, so this should be interesting as well. And then for our fifth pick, we get Diancy, which is uh, one of our Terra Captains, and we decide to go with Terra Fairy, Terra Water, and Terra Ground. Um, so yeah, I've seen Diancy being u be used in other leagues before, and I think it's a good Terra Captain. Um, its defenses are obviously insane. Um, 
like 150 in both defenses. Obviously, its HP is not as good, but its defenses are kind of crazy. So being able to utilize that should be good. Um, it can run a variety of sets. It can run Trick Room. It can run Meteor Bean Power. It can run. Uh, <coughs> it can be physical or special. Um, it can run more offensive. It can run more defensive. It gets Stealth Rocks. It gets Spikes. I think. I, I could be lying in that regard, but I know it gets Stealth Rocks. So just stuff like that. So this should be interesting with Terra Water, just to get rid of our weakness to our quad weakness to Steel, and just a good defensive typing in general. And Ground to be able to uh, maybe get Stab on Earth Power for the Steel types that resist our stabs. Um, it's just stuff like that. So maybe get a Stab a uh, physical Ground move. Yeah. So then for our sixth round pick. Uh, chose Bramble Gas. So this might be a little early to pick Bramble Gas, but <laughs> but the round before this, I, I was kind of like around this time in the draft, I was kind of like doing some stuff. I was busy with some schoolwork stuff like that. So I kind of just picked up Bramble Gas because the pick right before me, I was I was ready to choose Kilowattril, um, which then was taken from me. I really wanted to tear a Kilowattril with Diancy. It sounds kind of crazy. Um, but it was taken. It was sni sniped the pick right before me, so I didn't really know what to choose. So I ended up choosing Ramblegast um, because I, my team does have a ground weakness. I have a weakness immunity and a uh, Corviknight, but a resist is good. Um, it gives me a ghost type as well, which I need, um, and it gives me another form of hazard remover, hazard removal with uh, rapid spin, and it's like wind type move immunities could be interesting um, with Wind Rider. And it could be very annoying with like Leech Seed and Strength Sap and Sub and stuff like that. So this is obviously more of a utility mod, but it, I think it fits, fits my team decently well. And for the 7th round pick is Okie Doki. And at this point I wanted a, a Grounded Poison type. And there wasn't that much, because a lot were taken. But um, Okie Doki was on the board, and I'm like, yeah, this will be cool to use. Um, <coughs> and I haven't used Okie Doki before, so this should be an inter uh, interesting mod to use. I shouldn't be too afraid of the Psychic Weakness, because I do have Corviknight and Crocodile for that, so, yeah. This, obviously, Toxic Drain is a great ability. Being able to Toxic stuff randomly with any move is great. Um, guard, it gets Guard Dog as well. I don't know how often that'll come into use, but... Um, um, just stab, stab Poison and Stab Psychic moves, or Stab Fighting moves, actually are pretty good. It gets Knock Off again, stuff like that, Bulk Up. Um, just good utility. I mainly want a ground and poison type, and this is a more higher tier ground poison type, but I think this will be fun to Pokemon to use. For our next pick is Terra Raichu with uh, Terra Electric, Ice, and Fairy. Um, so Ice just for the Bolt Beam coverage, and Fairy is just for overall good typing. Um, and I chose Raichu because, actually on the way back to Raichu, since Kilowatch was taken, I thought midway through the draft, I'm like, hmm, Rotom Fan, that's a good, that's a, another good flying electric type that'll fit my team. Um, but then that was taken again, the pick right before this pick. So I'm like, oh shoot, whatever, I'll just choose a different fast electric type. And I just chose Raichu, because I kind of wanted a fast electric type. Obviously it's not needed, but I think the fast full beam coverage is good. Raichu doesn't have a great special attack, but it's a good pivot. Uh, it's a good fast mon. It gets decent coverage as well, like Grass Knot, Surf. It's very, like, alluring voice, stuff like that. Which isn't too bad, right? So yeah, that's our 8th uh, round pick. And then for our next pick, we have Latias. Oh boy. We have Latias, which is like, wow, that's a late Latias pick. Yeah, it is. Um, I had some points left over at this point, and I'm like... So I was thinking, Psychic and Dragon, I don't have those two types. And I could really use those two types um, for some good defensive and offensive coverage, right? So Latias is the perfect Pokemon for that. Um... And I decided to pick this up because um, I haven't used Latios before, and I think it'll be a cool mod to use. Um, it's more defensive than Latios, so like some cool like agility, calm mind, store power stuff, scarf specs. It can do basically the same thing as Latios, just not as powerful, but more bulky. So that's an upside for that. Um, it also doesn't get flip turn like Latios does, which is bad. But Healing Wish is there as well. Latios gets a ton of moves and a ton of coverage, so I think we're set on that. And for our last and final pick of the draft, it was Spiritomb. 
Um, at this point, we had two points left, and I didn't really have in mind what I wanted to spend those two points on. So I kind of just chose Spiritomb. There might have been something better, like like speed tier wise, my team could be a little better. Like it's a little bit on the slow end. Obviously, we have Iron Blood or Raichu and uh, Latias for speed, but maybe I could have picked up like Charger Bug or something. But I don't know. I just kind of wanted. I chose Spiritomb because it was a uh, it was a Willow Whisper. It was a Thunder Waver, and it was just a kind of annoying defensive one. Oh, this is one of our. This is our last Terra Captain as well, with Terra Ghost, Fairy, and Poison. Um, I was kind of thinking, like, since it's only weak to this Fairy, Terra Poison sets could maybe go pretty cool, like Curse or Calm Mind stuff. Um, be immune to Toxic, kind of like, just be really bulky and annoying. It gets Priority and Shadow Sneak and Sucker Punch, um, just if I need to. I don't know how often Spirit Tomb will be coming, or if it will be coming at all, I might trade it away. Uh, but for now, it's on the team, and uh, it get, has utility. That's the reason why I did pick it up. Uh, and yeah, so this is our team uh, for the UMPL D-League uh, Poppy Division. And the first matchup should be up soon, and I'll see you then.